of this three-game set between OU and Tech in the final Big 12 series between these rivals. And Coleman's not going to waste any time, and she'll slap the first pitch from Keel out to center to bump her batting average up. Coming off of a one-for-two game on Friday. Two spot after hitting third yesterday as this pitch gets by. The Sooners once again shake things up. The 27th game and their 27th different lineup for Coach Gasso. This is going to be a tough play. I think Parker beat it out, which she did. Aubrey Barnhart, the Alabama transfer. Depth one night ago. So back-to-back -back freshmen here in the top of the lineup for the Sooners. Taking a look at what the future may look like in the SEC as Pickering takes high. And see all the ponchos in attendance. As Sanders pops one into shallow right. And with the outfield deep, this will score Coleman and everyone goes station to station on the RBI blooper. By the Arizona State transfer here in her second season in Norman and it's one. Jennings, that's a gapper and might be the record tying double as Oklahoma with a curvy three spot already here in the first inning. And it is the 58th double in Jennings' career. 400 or higher. The only one starting today under 400 is Avery Hodge. Four pitch walk loads the bases again for the Sooners. Seventh batter in this Sooner lineup. Conference player of the year at Furman last year as Ludlum takes low and outside. And that looked like a strike as well. Home plate umpire Robert Gonzalez. Hodge connects with the infield in. It's over the head of the second baseman Jennings. And once again, Oklahoma will settle with one run scoring on the RBI single. As Keel seeks her first out. Won't get it. Seeing eye single finds left field and the Sooners will hit around here in the first inning without recording it out. Six nothing, Boomer Sooner. Golden Clinic advice. As four pitches starts the outing for Blackledge and an RBI walk for Coleman. Still not recorded and out. That's what Texas Tech is looking for here. And Parker rips it back up the middle. The barrage continues on OU's seventh hit of this inning. As Parker drives in two runs. Pickering, deep right center. This is gone. Fourth home run of the year for the freshman. Oklahoma's fifth of the series. And it's 12-0. High ball to right, and Demi Elder makes the catch for out number one. For all the players to retire, it's the hottest hitter on the team. Jennings reaches on a four pitch walk here with one out in the first. If you want to be here, show it. It's got to be the Thought process of Coach Snyder here. This is a double play ball. Oric to first. Texas Tech ends the inning with a flourish and their 18th double play of the season. Put out last month against San Diego State. Comes off of three scoreless innings on Sunday against Iowa State as Aubrey Barnhart chases the first pitch from Deal. An opportunity for Tiara Jennings to show. Via gets a hold of one to right. This is gone. Via's sixth home run of the year. Off of the glove of Pickering and Texas Tech. Three long balls on Tuesday for Love as she gets hit. So Texas Tech needing to put up four or five runs 
to get their fans back in it here. Off to a good start. Far a tight zone here in the bottom of the first. Blackhoff over to second. Hodge will swivel and fire to Jennings for out number two on the fielder's choice. Elder strokes one out to center, but it's right at Coleman, who makes the grab to end the inning, but not before Texas Tech able to snap, deal scoreless streak. With a, so it's gotta be a sliding scale based off of the score. Like that pitch that just misses outside and puts Oklahoma on base here to lead off the second inning. Okay. Runner at first, nobody out here in the second. And it is laced into the glove of Oric. Snap throw to first. The 19th double play of the season and the Red Raiders lead the nation. Now in twin killings with that six to three web gem. Is herself with throws to Barnhart. But Riley Boone continues her success. A near mirror image. What we saw from Hodges single in the first, Boone will slap one in the three four. Rounder over to second. And with the help of a key double play, Texas Tech puts up a massive zero in the top of the second inning. And we will see Jennings, Boric, and Wright when we come back. Don't forget the season every Sunday. You can see the scoreboard operator had a tough time putting up 12 in that top of the first as Reagan Jennings swings at the first pitch. Finds a base knock out to center. The freshman from a to keep the line moving here. This could be trouble for the defense on a quick twist. Hodge does really nicely to play that off a hop. And the fielder's choice picks up out number one. Hey, off pitch on a check swing. Wright thinks it's a walk and is ruled out. Tool. Looking to do so here on the 2-2, and it's right into the big first baseman's glove as Sanders is there, and a clean inning for Deal. Sends us to the third here on this Saturday. At the bottom of the no more singing, got it. Ball out to Oric. Clean first out to start the third inning. Brings up Cassidy Pickering, who has one home run today. Looking for a second, but it comes feet short. And Halliman, one freshman, retires the other for the second out here. Power five conference softball game, which was hit around without recording an out in the first inning. Ground ball, scooped up by Love, and a one, two, three inning for Blackledge. Barraza style, once again, Giveaway tomorrow as well to the first 200. Chastity Reigns playing cards as Aubrey Barnhart chases the first pitch she sees from Deal again. Chopper out to second. High hop gathered by Hodge. And that's exactly what you want to do if you're an infielder. Try to time out that high hop. And there's two outs. Conference. There's an escape. It's love. Skies one to left. And Deal matches Blackledge with one, two, three innings here in the third. And we head out to the fourth last year for both Jennings and Coleman. Jennings will take this and soft serve it out to left for her second hit of the game. Had a long home run in the fourth inning yesterday. Part of a one for two game with a walk as well. As Torres swings at the first pitch. And the short way over to first. Takes a swing on 2-0. and Skies one out to right. Elder is there in fair territory as Jennings stays put. And there's two outs here in the fourth. Baylor, 3-2. Oklahoma State shut out UCF. As Hodge pops one out to left. Villa is there. Blackledge with three shutout innings. Wicky turns on one to right. That's a no doubter. The freshman of the year has her third home run here in 2024.
Helder runs into one. Deep center field, Coleman at the warning track, and it is a couple feet shy of going back to back. As to see if Keeney can keep the ball down here against Reagan Jennings, and she does. But it's off the glove of Sanders, and Jennings is safe on Oklahoma's first error of the weekend. All right, we'll swib one over to second where Hodge is there, and we are off to the fifth where Oklahoma leads by 10. This pitch is driven past the second baseman, Jennings, who is playing bland to pull, and the fifth inning starts with a leadoff. But it will be a walk in the 16th earned this season by Jada Coleman. So Ground ball, double play ball, and it gets by the shortstop, Oric, and out to left field. So Coleman will go first to third. Let's see if that is ruled an error. Tarleton State. Four swings at this one. Deep to right center, a leaping grab made by Halliman, and a sack fly registered by Core. We'll pump the lead back up to a dozen for the Sooners. Sydney Sanders comes up here with one out, a runner at third, and he is hit by the pitch. Bennings to center field, did not get all of it, and it'll be another sacrifice fly here for the Sooners in the fifth inning. So the first time Save Nicole May for tomorrow or just give her the weekend off altogether. I assume it will see May. As the hitting continues and Torres finds a gap up the middle. Base hit number 13 for Oklahoma to one. Mudlum will walk for the sixth time this weekend. Second base today. She'll lift one out to center. Retrievable for Halliman, and we are off to the bottom of the fifth as Oklahoma puts up a three spot. Leads by a Baker's dozen. Season. Halliman out to short. Jennings fires over to Sanders for the first out. Reminder, we're back tomorrow. And two down on strikes. Second strikeout earned by the Liberty transfer who has NCAA experience. Payoff pitch to Villa. Grounded, handled by Hodge, and the Sooners flex with a dozen runs in the first inning. They win their 36th straight against the Red Raiders. A 15-2 finish. We'll be back tomorrow.